Hey guys, welcome to CodeShape's YouTube channel. The problem that we are going to discuss today is 2D point meeting. The problem appeared in September 21 long challenge and has a difficulty level of easy medium. The prerequisites to solve this problem include math and geometry. The problem statement goes as follows. We are given n distinct points in a 2D plane. The points are numbered from 1 to n. Because we are given the points in 2D plane, of course they will have two coordinates that is the x coordinate and the y coordinate. The same is given to us in the form of input. Now our goal is to make the location of all the n points equal to that of each other. It means that finally after performing the operations all the points should coincide at one position. And we can do this using some operations. The operations are given as follows. In one operation we can choose an index i that lies in 1 to n and a real number k and there are four possible options which we have. So the four possible operations are in first case we can increment only the x coordinate. In the second one we can increment only the y coordinate. In the third one we can uh, change both of them and in uh, fourth one also we can change both of them but the sign is opposite that is if x gets incremented then y gets decremented and vice versa. So these are the four uh, operations available to us. The question is that we have to find the minimum number of operations to achieve our goal. So first of all these operations are given in mathematical terms. It's better if you visualize them in graphical manner. So say this is uh, our 2D plane and let's say we have some random point. So the random point let's say is present over here. So the first kind of operation is that we can only change the x coordinate of the uh, point. So it means that the point after doing the operation can lie on this horizontal yellow line. Okay. That is only the x coordinate can change. Okay. I am assuming this is the x coordinate. This is the y coordinate standard assumptions. Okay, the second operation you can see that only the y coordinate can change. Don't get confused by seeing this plus sign. Okay, because k is a real number. So even though here it is plus, k can itself be negative, right? So using the second operation, the point can lie on the vertical line which passes through the uh, initial point. This is the second operation. In the third operation, you can see that both x and y are changed by the same amount. That is uh, either both of them are incremented or both of them are decremented. So in that case, the point will uh, go to somewhere which lies on this line, this diagonal line. Okay. And uh, as you might have already guessed, the fourth operation is nothing but this one. So if the initial point is the one uh, shown by this red color, I have marked it again using the red color. Then the resulting point after doing any one operation will lie on any of these yellow lines. So this is one way to see it and why it is important to see it in graphical way because the approach that we are going to see soon, uh, it incorporates the same. So it's better that you know that what these operations actually mean rather than just the mathematical uh, adding of k and subtracting of k. It's better to know that how the point is actually going to uh, translate from one position to another. So it is going to lie on one of these yellow lines. So this is just one point like this there are going to be n points and our task is to bring them at one position and that too in minimum number of operations. So I think the question now is clear. Uh, now let's see how to approach the solution. The solution approach goes as follows. You might be surprised that in this question the brute force solution actually works. The only thing is that you need to know how to implement the same. So let's see how to implement the brute force solution and where the idea of it comes from. So remember how I told that each point can only travel by doing the operations along one of these four lines. So there are total four type of lines. If we take a point, then the point can either move left, right, that is on the x axis or on the y axis or diagonally. That is uh, having the slope of one or the slope of minus one. Okay. So these are the only four type of movements for the uh, point possible from its initial position. Okay. Now, uh, because all points have to be 
at same position uh, after performing some number of operations the point of intersection is also going to lie on one of these lines okay so let's say that uh, i have drawn a total of four points over here then uh, i have also drawn their possible uh, movement lines okay so if i have any two points let's say let's call this as point number a and let's call this as point number b so whatever may be their initial positions i can for sure make them uh, i can bring them at one position in two or less than two moves okay at max two moves i will need to bring them at the same location it can even be zero moves because if their initial position is coinciding in that case we don't need any moves we don't need any operations so for any two points in at max two operations we can bring them at one position so if you start with a pair of points then if you start with a pair of points then they will come at one position then you keep on uh, including one other one another point then again one more point one more point so in that case you will see that the answer can never exceed the number 2 into n why because let's say hypothetically that there was some point uh, at which uh, you need to reach so all points need to reach there so it will take at most two moves for them to reach there from any point to any point you can move in at most two moves okay in a 2d plane so therefore because we have n points in 2n moves we can definitely go from any point to any point okay for given n points so this is the uh, first thing that you should know that your answer cannot exceed 2n okay so your answer should be definitely less than 2n so a detailed proof of this same is also given in the text tutorial you can have a look at that uh, also but now let's come to the actual solution so the actual solution is that because the intersection point is going to lie on uh, some of these lines okay definitely like the two lines would intersect somewhere like if let's say the optimal point of meeting was the optimal point of meeting of a and b so there are four lines of a and four lines of b so let's say i consider this line of a and this line of b so this is one possible uh, meeting point okay this one the green one this is one possible meeting point so what i can do is i can find this intersection point easily because i know the equation of both the lines in order of one using simple math and geometry i can find this intersection point and if i once i know this intersection point for each other point i will calculate how many moves do they need to reach here okay but remember this is only one such possible point there can be many such possible uh, points of intersection like here i uh, calculated the intersection of these two white lines let's say if i uh, chose this white line uh, this one okay this white line and uh, this extended white line so they would intersect somewhere over here right so that can be one more intersection point so in this manner what we can do is the probable answer or the possible intersection point is definitely one of these but we don't know which one because you have to minimize the number of moves so what we can do is now let's come to the uh, other thing that i have written on the board there are because there are only four kinds of lines we can easily find their intersections so one type of line is this only horizontal lines second one is vertical lines and the third and fourth are the diagonal lines with slope 1 and minus 1 now if you want to find the intersection of these lines with each other you have to choose a pair of lines that is you need two lines to find their intersection right and definitely if the slope of both lines is same they are never going to intersect like for example if you choose this as your first line and this as your second line they are parallel to each other they will never intersect so we will not take those kind of uh, pairs the pairs will be such that one line is from uh, some set let's say set 1 then the other one should be from set 3 okay if one line is from set 2 then the other line should not be from set 2 it can be from any other set let's say set 4 so like these we have all lines segregated of type 1 type 2 type 3 and type 4 we find their intersection points okay just write a for loop inside a for loop brute force find their all points of intersection and for each point 
remember you you are going to get many points of intersection now for that point you need to have some kind of function let's say moves x comma y which tells you that if x comma y is my final meeting point okay where finally all points are going to come then what is the minimum number of moves needed so we are going to call this function how many times each time we find a new intersection point like uh, we found a intersection point over here let me uh, mark it with this orange pen yeah we found a point over here we call this function and check how many moves are required we found a point over here we call this function and check how many moves are required and definitely as our answer is always less than 2n we initialize a number let's say answer equals 2 into n and each time we minimize this answer that is answer equals to minimum of answer comma whatever is the uh, calculation in this function so for each intersection point we keep on minimizing our answer and finally we get the most minimum answer okay now remember with all this it is also possible that the answer is one of the initial given points that is uh, the point can be this red point itself okay uh, Okay, let me mark it with the red pen. It can be this red point itself, right? The initial given points, one of the initial given points. So for uh, safety purpose, like uh, because we don't want to risk our solution, although these points are also included in the intersection, but still you can run a for loop such that your x comma y is the one of the initial given points. Okay, so not intersection or something, but one of the initial given points. for that also again you will again always call the moves function and minimize your answer so in summary what we can say in summary we can say that we have n total points from each point there are four different lines originating okay the lines are horizontal vertical and diagonal lines now because the answer will lie on one of the intersection points we find all the possible intersection points because the constraint on n is very low in the question if you read the statement carefully then for each of this intersection points we have a function which tells us okay now i know the point now can you tell me what is the moves required for all points to reach that point so we get that uh, number and similarly when we get that number we keep minimizing our answer so that is the basically our solution approach it will be more clear when you see my implementation in c++ so the implementation goes as follows for each test case we first take the input of n that is the total number of points then we create a vector of pairs which will store the points and also we create a map of tuples which you will understand soon why we have created it so first we run two for loops and take the coordinates as input so the first for loop is for x coordinate and the second one is for y coordinate now we run another for loop which goes from 0 to n and this time the xi and yi represents the ith point so we take that point from our uh, point vector and uh, using those points we create the four lines we talked about that is the vertical line horizontal line and the diagonal lines so as you can see the line is represented using three integers uh, because you all know that a line in geometry can be represented as an equation like ax plus by plus c equals to 0 so these are basically the uh, coefficients a b and c so using three coefficients we can define each line so we have defined all the four type of lines over here this is the first line second line third line and fourth line hence we created the map now we have two functions that are going to help us a lot first function is the intersect functions so this function takes two lines as input and finds their intersection point so what is done inside this function you can figure it out by yourself because it's basically just two equation and two variables you have to just solve it for x and y so two equation two variables we can find the uh, intersection of two lines again the second function is the moves function which we talked about so what this function does is it takes a point as an input so a point is represented here using a tuple so you might be wondering the point only has two coordinates x and y so why there are three coordinates over here it is because 
the intersection coordinate is not always an integer it can be a fraction as well so the fraction is a numerator and denominator so we are converting the fraction into integers by uh, passing the x coordinate y coordinate and the denominator separately so this moves function what it does is that uh, initially considers the 2n moves and then iterates over each point and then finds the moves required for that point that particular point xi yi to reach the current point so the current point is x comma y okay with denominator as den so with that we just simply run a for loop and for each point we check how many moves it requires to reach there see the moves will be either 2 or 1 or 0 okay so that is uh, taken care over here so if the point lies on one of the lines that is the horizontal vertical or diagonal lines then it can easily come in one move if they are already coinciding then uh, zero moves if not then the two moves are already included in this current variable so this function is defined both the functions are now defined now simply run our uh, main for loop that is consider our answer as 2 into n and there are two scenarios for uh, safety purpose like we don't want to risk our solution we just uh, find the possibilities where the in final intersection point is one of the initial points so answer is equals to minimum of answer comma moves x comma y comma 1 why 1 because they are integer points so denominator is always going to be 1 so in this manner first we minimize the answer now we find the intersection points of the lines so i goes from 0 to 4 j goes from i plus 1 to j and these are the two lines line 1 is in m of i line 2 is in m of j that is the maps so there were total four maps right one map was m0 another map was m1 m2 and m3 so total four maps so i take one line from one map other line from another map the two maps are not same so there it is guaranteed that they will always have a point of intersection so I just find their point of intersection by calling our function intersect line 1 comma line 2 and once I have the point I minimize the answer answer is equals to minimum of answer comma moves of point. So in this manner all the possible intersection points are also covered okay. So also note I have already told in the solution approach that the lines with same slopes never intersect. So I am never uh, taking two lines of the same slope they are always of different slope and finally when we have the answer minimized answer we just output it so this was the solution and the implementation in c i hope you guys understood the solution this was a brute force approach why it works because the constraints on n are small okay if you read the question the constraints on n are very small so even the uh, brute force solution works over here the only thing that you mainly need to do is write these two functions by yourself. One is the moves function and one is the intersect function. The first one can be easily uh, found using math. Just use geometry, two equation, two variables. And the second one is just run a simple for loop. And either you can reach in zero moves, one moves or two moves. Because we already know you can reach from any point to any point in uh, 2D plane in at max two moves. So with that, uh, we are done with the solution. If you have any doubts, you can post them in the comments below.